Okay, YouTube, this is JL Chambers 82, and, uh, Maximum anyway, <laughs> just kind of doing a little quick little camera test, it's kind of late night, I'm trying to keep quiet, because I live, uh, at my parents right now, as I mentioned, so anyway, uh, I'm gonna show off a game on PC, and I think you know what it is, if you haven't figured it out already, uh, from the, uh, initial title screen, if you're familiar with PC games at all, it is Crisis. And uh, I'm not going to talk too much through this one, I'm just going to kind of let it play. So uh, all the settings are low, um, as my PC is a Pentium D. So we're just going to start it up and let it kind of play, just to let you look at it and see that, you know, you can run uh, a pretty, you know, demanding game on an older system. My PC, I love it, but it's old, uh, and I've kind of Frankenstein together, so. His name is Virgil, that's the name of my PC, and uh, yeah, he's getting up there in age, so uh, he's a Pentium D, I have a uh, NVIDIA 8600 GT uh, and his iFi uh, sound card, so um, let's go ahead and get this started. And we're going to do a new game and just kind of let you look at everything. And this game is uh, hard to play with a wireless keyboard and mouse, it's not so... Uh, Spot on, so I'm going to do easy. And let's start. That's me fucking with the volume, by the way. There we go. Uh, the display is my Samsung uh, 40 inch 1080p, by the way. So it's not going to be the, the highest resolution that you normally get off the PC either. But maybe you'll see in a moment. It looks pretty good. Okay, just while that's loading, um, yeah, this game, as far as a third-person shooter, um, I don't think it's all that great myself, my humble opinion. I think it was more of a tech demo, uh, you know, a couple of years ago, this really pushed the envelope as far as what PCs can do, and, uh, you know, graphics with, um, the high settings and DirectX 10, or, you know, and Windows Vista. But to me now, um, PS3 has really pushed the envelope with games like God of War 3 and Killzone 2. So, um, yeah, some of the shading and, uh, you know, everything might be a little bit, the lighting effects might be a little bit uh, more realistic in this game, photorealistic. But um, I think this game they thought would be, you know, like a, something that would be around the test of time. And I think it's already kind of showing its age. It doesn't really look like, you know, the next that next level it kind of looks you know uh pretty much on par with everything else now on low settings that's not a fair assessment so what you're going to see here is not uh, a true representation of what the game is intended but uh anyone that has a higher end pc um to me i think there's you know other games out there i mean modern warfare 2 uh with high resolution and everything and 
all high setting is uh, is you know graphically just as impressive as far as I'm concerned. So, but this was all the rave a couple of years ago, as far as in terms of graphics, you know, everything, presentation. story, so I have no fucking idea what it's about, I mean, it's aliens, I'm assuming, you know, and Koreans, which is a really cool premise for a game, but you know, but, you know. this is the full version, I do own the full version, but I've really never played more than like the download, I mean the, uh, the demo share of it, you know, I pretty much have played that part of the game, I don't think I've ever gotten a level 2 or anything. And again, playing on a Bluetooth wireless uh, keyboard and mouse, it's not as responsive and, uh, you know, it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't play as well to me, so. One thing I noticed from the low setting there, uh, there was more lighting, like natural lighting, in the uh, higher resolution scene hey, no man. with clouds and everything. With so. Okay, listen up, gentlemen. Intel reports a significant military presence on the island. But for low, the low settings, surprise, it looks so pretty good. It. it looks pretty cool. The North Koreans can't know we're here. I won't even know what it's up. Cannon psycho. Pay attention. This is a covert operation. Our job is to locate and evacuate. We're not at war here. Not yet. Oh, right. Do we even know if these people are still alive? That's what we're here to find out. We lost contact with Dr. Rosenthal a week ago when the Korean military locked down the island. Two days ago, we picked up a distress signal from the team's research vessel. Someone down there wants to be found. We have the team for beginning approach. Stand by. All right, gear up. Masks on. Once we clear the plane, form up on eight. Shoots are on mark. Three, five, four, three, two, one. Go, go, go! See you guys at the LZ. All right, so we're skydiving. I got a couple more minutes, so I'm hoping I can get some action so, before this cuts off. So if you're looking at this, you know, this is all low settings, and, uh, anyway, um, I'm running out of time, so this is Crisis with low settings on FAMD. Uh, runs, you know, this is very, very playable, very, very smooth and responsive, but, uh, yeah, there's, uh, you know, get a PS3, man, you know, Killzone 2, to me, blows us away, and I've seen it on Dream Systems, too, so, uh, it's not just my humble little opinion, it's a fact, so compare it side by side if you like. But anyway guys, I'm out for right now.